Someone asked, how do you force yourself to do what you avoid the most by doing it first? Have you ever heard that story where the guy's got like this big glass jar, he's got a bunch of big rocks and a bunch of pebbles and a bunch of sand? Have you ever heard that story before? So I mean, to me, that that's it. And like, for those of you that haven't heard that story, it's, you know, how do you fit all this stuff into the jar? And you start with the big rocks first, and then you sprinkle in the smaller rocks and it kind of fits in all in those little uh, gaps and nooks and crannies. And then you pour the sand in last or the water, whatever it is, um, and it all fits. But if you were to start at the smallest and move to the biggest, it wouldn't fit. And so I think the key to that is making sure you're just prioritizing those things that you do um, and like just literally rank them out like where, what's most important and what are the things that you know that you just don't like to do that you need to get out of the way or you're not going to do it at all by doing it first every time they call it eating the frog if you ever heard of that eating the frog it's doing the the biggest task that you don't like doing that's hardest to get done getting that done first you know, we've all had those days where we woke up and there was so much stuff to do that we didn't do anything and sometimes there's those times where you feel like I don't really have much to do and you get some stuff done. But when you have so much to do and so many different things going on that you end up doing absolutely nothing. Like I've been in that paralyzing you know, position where you're like, man, I got to do this. I got to get this done. I got this done. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it, it just, you, feel, you feel like there's so much piled up that you can't even start to chip away. To me, that's it, man. Um, because the reality is like, most people should really set up their days to where there's only like three main things. And I think so many people have so much to do that they get none, nothing done. And uh, on, the, on the, the opposite of that, if you really had like two or three main objectives in your day, then it'd be way less stressful. And uh, you'd actually get things accomplished because you could feel like you could focus all your energy on it. But the reality is progress one day at a time, progress one step at a time, slow progress is still progress. It's this idea of just do something. Just every single day do something that's moving you in the right direction. Do something that's moving you towards your goal. And when you think you've got everything to do, just starting by doing something and then building upon that something and then right. building upon that something. And next thing you know, you turn around and you've done everything. Right. For the person that's mm -hmm. listening to this, watching this, if you find yourself in that position where you, you're thinking about the opportunity that you're waiting for or the circumstances that you're waiting for to then start doing, our encouragement to you is just start doing and the situation and the circumstances will appear. Yeah.